formalization of the flexibility method. Explanation was in the principle of complementary virtual work. So for each member, dmi is equal to fmi into mi. We know that the D displacement matrix is equal to the symmetry matrix into the action matrix. And here the dmi contains the contains a series of uh, elements uh, which are the relative displacements of any k and with the respect to the j end of the ith member in general. So if there are m members the structure there will be m displacement and also there will be m by m number of flexibility element and there will be m action so dm is equal to fm into am fm is the unassembled flexibility matrix of the entire structure the member end actions am will be related to the structure actions as applied to the early structure that is uh, we already discussed that the total structural actions uh, can be uh, divided into the individual member actions so the member actions are related with the structural actions it is am is a member action to the as structural action by the matrix called as an action transformation matrix so that means the each action in a member is transformed into the uh, or it is related to the action uh, in the structure through this vms the as it consists of the joined actions loads which are uh, loads are called as the aj and the redundant reactions AQ. So that is uh, AM is equal to uh, BMJ into BMQ into AJ AQ. That is uh, BMJ relate the AM to AJ and BMQ relate AM to AQ. So the AS it is a uh, structural action force and the joint action force is called as the AJ and we also know that the redundant actions unknown forces are the AQ so the AM which is the action in the member is uh, related to the AJ which is the joint uh, member load by the matrix BMJ and AM is a, sorry, it is a, a member action is related to the redundant action AQ through the matrix BMQ. So please note that the AM to J will be MJ and M to Q will be MQ, which is B represents the action transformation matrix or the equilibrium matrix. Each column in the submatrix of uh, BMJ consists of member and actions caused by the unit value of joint load applied to the restructure. And also the each column in the submatrix BMQ consists of the member and action caused by the unit value of the redundant applied to the restructure. So we know that the BMJ relating uh, the member actions to the uh, join loads, member join loads, and the member actions are connected or related to the redundant force by BMQ. So these subcomponents has the uh, respective values caused by the unit values of the join load and the unit values of the redundant. Suppose an arbitrary set of virtual actions, uh, delta AS is applied to structure. So we know that the AS is the uh, structural action. External complementary virtual work produced by the virtual loads, delta AS and actual displacement DS is 
the virtual displacement is equal to uh, delta W star is equal to delta A S transform transpose into T S is equal to uh, delta A J transpose into delta A Q transpose because we know that So the delta A is a structural uh, action which is the uh, subcomponent into uh, delta A J is a join load and A K is a redundant load. So both the uh, so this value is taken as delta A J transpose into delta A K transpose and the D of structure is divided due to the join loads and the redundants. So the internal complementary virtual work produced by the virtual member in actions it is the delta AM uh, due to the member actions and the actual relative end displacement DM that is displacement of the member is denoted by the uh, internal work delta U star is equal to delta AM T transpose DM transpose. So this is a, a structural work done and this is the internal energy to the member work done. So correspondingly the this is structures AS DS structure M and M are for the member. Transforming the transforming to member coordinates through the action transformation method. So we have discussed that the AM is equal to PMS into AS. Now we have a two equation delta W and delta Q delta AM member force uh, action is equal to PMS the transformation matrix in delta AS so is equal to uh, this is actually split into here this is to here MS is equal to uh, BMJ due to the join loads and BMQ due to the uh, member uh, redundance and into AS will be the uh, join load and the redundance Equating the about two equations, the principle of complementary virtual work that is uh, delta AS transpose into DS transpose and delta AM transpose into DM. Uh, we know that the AM is equal to BMS into AS and delta AM is equal to BMS into delta AS. Also, DM is equal to FM into AM, the D is equal to FA uh, matrix and is equal to FM into uh, the AM is replaced to BMS into AS. Hence, uh, delta AS T DS is equal to so we uh, yeah we know delta uh, am is equal to this uh, pms into and delta as so that is written here instead of uh, this value and dm is equal to fm into pms into as so ds is equal to uh, the yeah, BMS transpose into BMS, BMS transpose into BMS into F into AS because this AST transpose and AST transpose get cancelled each other, and this will be the FS, which is the flexibility matrix of the entire structure. So DS is equal to FS into AS. AS is equal to FS into AS, where FS is equal to BMS transpose FM into BMS, the assembled flexibility matrix of the entire structure. So we know 
the fs value so then fs is partitioned into sub matrix related to join load aj and the random action is aq we know ds is equal to fs into as is equal to so we know the structural uh, displacement is due to the join load and due to the redundancy so dj and dq fs is will be a, a big matrix to the join load and will is the redundancy so two by two matrix and as will be aj aq and we know fj was uh, we know fs is equal to this equation so the corresponding fjj is equal to fjk is equal to fqj is equal to fqk is equal to uh, these values similarly we have dj is equal to fjj uh, by multiplying with this matrix we'll get the dj value and dq value as dj is equal to uh, fjj into aj plus f j q into a q as a first equation d q is equal to f q j into a j plus f q q into a q a second equation second equation is actually transformed to find the a q which is the uh, redundant force a q is equal to f q q inverse into d q minus so on rearranging the second equation we get this equation Now, in the subsequent calculation, the above AQ, AQ will be the redundant action should be used. However, the final values of redundancy are obtained by including the actual or equivalent join load applied directly to the support. So, we have previously discussed, and we were supposed to find the redundant forces by using the equivalent join load applied to the member and get the Direct AQ value. AQ final is equal to minus AQC plus AQ. So this AQC represents the actual and the equivalent join load applied directly to support corresponding to the redundancy. Once the redundancy AQ are found. DJ can, DJ can be found from DJ is equal to FJJ into AJ plus FJK into AQ, which is in this situation. Similarly, the support reactions caused by the, the join load and the redundant can be obtained with an action. Transformation matrix. AR is equal to BRS into AS is equal to BRJ into BRQ into AJ and AQ will be the support reactions caused by the join load and the redundant. So air will support reaction. Each column in the sub matrix B R J consists of the support reaction caused by the unit value of the join load applied to the resistor structure. So this uh, matrix B R J consists of the support reaction caused by the unit value of the join load applied to the resistor structure, and the, each column in the sub matrix B R Q consists of support reaction caused by the unit value redundant applied to the Early structure. So this is uh, B R J stands for the join and load and Q stands for the redundant as like the previous ones. If the actual or equivalent join loads are applied directly to the supports, then A R is equal to so this term is coming into picture minus A R C. Plus B R J A J plus B R Q A Q, where A R C represents the combined joint load, actually actually an equivalent applied directly to the support. The 
remember nth actions due to the actual loads are obtained by superimposing member nth actions due to the restraints and the combined joint load. So these things we have discussed during the equivalent joint load method. So there we discussed about the fix, fixed um, moments, uh, then the joint loads and the combined joint load. And this has to be combined with the restrained actions to get the member and action due to the actual loads obtained to be obtained. So AM is equal to AMF plus BMJ AJ plus BMQ AQ. Where AMF represents the fixed and actions. So this will be the final equations that we have obtained. So the redundance uh, for finding the redundance in the uh, redundant actions, A Q is equal to the equation is listed here as first equation. Finding the joint displacement dj, we have a second equation. For finding the member end action am, we have a third equation. And for support reaction ar, we have the fourth equation, which we have derived through the previous slides. Thank you.